question. If Argentinians love soccer five. so much, can why is it only your national team can semi-compete, but you can't win it since, what, 1980? And then the leagues Ooh. don't even compete in the value of the dollar. What is he You're talking like about? You're like third fiddle in fucking South America. He doesn't even know. He said a bad word. What? He wow. Just, he just said a bad word again. Is that right, Chris? You are oh, no, that was very now. mean. Don't I got your back, though. Internet. I got your back. That's, that's terrible. This Kim, I think you, I think you hurt your feelings. Oh, I, I, I want to no, apologize. No, no, I, was, I like you anyway. I, was just yes, I'm sorry. I played soccer no, no, no. till I was 20. Just that, just that. We I love just, each other again. It was making yes, good say comment. sorry. I want to say, say sorry, sorry, but I also okay. want to remind Thank you me. that this wine that we're drinking is not only fire, but it's so delicious <laughs> I may have had a little bit, so that may be oh, why I'm gabbing I a little much. I understand you. I understand. I'm a Latina. I understand you. I love you. Oh, there we go. The, um, okay. I, I, I want you to There it is again. We need the music oh, background. Hey, hey guys, one the more music thing. Background. I okay. want you to notice that you're a being bad? served wine from a pinguino, and Lorena, can you uh, please see, explain that? Can you see oh, that, Are you a penguin fan? No, no. Oh wait, give me a little mouth. Give me a little. Are you a penguin fan? What is that? No, wait, no, is really, a pinguino really. not a penguin? Sí, es okay. un pinguino. A ver, escucha. No, 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 no. This is great. A pinguino is a very old traditional way to serve wine in Argentina. Why? Because do you know that in Argentina um, they deliver. The big bottles of, like, probably like five liters, right? No, ten liters. Bottle of ten liters of wine. What's up? They, de- they deliver that to your home. Like the milk. You know, like the milk? God, but it's wine. How much, though? How much would you say it costs to have? Mm, I can't read on something. Probably. Uh, I'm not really sure about it. But they deliver the, the big, 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 uh, what we call Dama Juana. It's a bottle of glass, like, like, a, come on, car, a ver, marido oh, yeah. number one, no, no, can you say marido number one, I don't, I don't. It's a carboy of wine that they would uh, deliver. Yeah, and so oh, what God. we're drinking, this pinguano, as you can see on so the Instagram can, picture, of is course you can craft put size. that bottle, you know, into a glass every time that you're having, um, you're having that for lunch and you're having that for dinner. So, the pinguino. Ten of those. The pinguino was created to uh, provide, and that's probably half lit. No, that's one little, one little, right? Little. You, so would y'all scoop it out? See something like, like that. Was it in a barrel that you would like scoop it out like a ladle, or was it more like no. you would pump it? It like you would maybe we, like drop we, this into the other thing. We. The okay, jug gotcha. goes into the pinguino jug. So you funnel jug. that thing in there. Yes. yes. Yeah. We know and then all from about the pinguino. Here in America. It's great. I love it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm taking one of these with me, and yes. I like it. It's like a craft. Like, it, uh, exactly. And you said it holds about a liter, and you'll serve it out of this yes. at all locations. See. Si. I don't think I've ever hung out. Yeah. Two hours deep in one of these locations, but I guess what? Well, let me tell you what I'm out to. These places are fire. They have dynamite booze, which pairs perfectly with all of these fire empanadas. I can speak on behalf of about seven of them, but like you mentioned, you change up the rotation, so it's pretty See. fucking good. I think so, you tried to sneak out of these last few. Oh, rapid no, no, fires. no, 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 no. So, no, no, I don't no. think it was your fault. I think it was Lorena. Classic Lorena. So whatever, <laughs> you're not off the hook. So breakfast or dinner? Dinner. Tacos or burgers? This is unfair. We know the answer. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. American Empan- you love burgers. Ah, burgers, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. We couldn't ask you the empanadas. That no, would be no. I'm a native. So, so, so let's dive into this one to the main segment, kind of. I mean, it's what we're all about: stoned appetite. So, what's your late night guilty pleasure when you come home after a long days of? Pumping out empanadas and Marie Empanadas Empire. What are you what are you going for in the fridge? I'm going to the fridge and I'm getting a lava cake. I was about to say I, I Do you bake lava cakes at home? No. Trader Joe's guys. Oh, I was thinking it's dominoes. Cheap. It's cheap. Yeah. So Trader Joe's and a lava cake and if you can I mean if you have extra bucks, just buy ice cream, vanilla vanilla. Vanilla? And you put it on the side and it's fantastic. So lava cakes in the night, just being in the bed and eating that. Next I can get down with that. Yeah. What? Do you throw ice cream in yeah. there with it, like on yes, the side? Yes, on the side. And you're mixing. The spoon needs to be combined. 
with a little bit of ice cream and a little bit of lava cake. Not just the cake, the inside of the lava cake also. So those you mean the lava? ingredients things in the same spoon and then you put it in and... And it's it fantastic. Yeah. I, know, I, like I, know. I want some lava <laughs> cake. Like, but. You want a little bit of, I mean, she did it very well. So for yes. our listeners at home, don't be shy. Yes. Go check out our YouTube yes. page. You'll see videos of everything from <laughs> the food that she eats at home to the food that she serves to her guests. And like you heard her say, the baked empanadas are the best. So we are going to indulge best. on those all day. But yeah, so you're not out of the woods yet. No. We did the stoned appetite questions, but now we're going to, this is called real talk. We have four questions that are very easy. Don't Do worry. Do I need to be serious? No. Okay. Fuck no. We haven't been serious no. all do you day. Say that word again? Yeah, I do. My, ah. Don't worry. My okay. dad tells okay. me okay. every Sorry. time I need okay. to stop. Right. So yeah. I'm going to ask you one question, and then our producer likes to, he has a current affairs question that keeps everybody on their toes, but I'm going to let him start as well. So, Rusty, are you ready? Listos. Listos. Muy bien. Hey, que pedo mexicanos y chevón porteños. Ay, ¿Cómo estás? Yo soy Rusty y tengo muchas preguntas de la, de la gente, pero el primero pregunta fue quién es María, but you already answered that. El segundo pregunta es, what's with the empanada names? Um, I've, I've been a frequent customer of Maria Empanada, and I feel like the names of the empanadas just talk about the ingredients. I'm looking for my porteño empanada. I'm looking for my rustico empanada. Why? I, I've noticed, this is a question from our fans, of course. Why do the empanada names only describe the ingredients? When can we get that unique name oh. that tells you what you're biting into, even though you don't understand what the word is? I like you already. <laughs> I like you. You are challenging me. Damn, yeah. he put you in the hot seat. Esposo on, music. Music. Where's the music? Siete. Me encanta, <laughs> sí. <laughs> no, that's yours. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, 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 hold on. Let's, let's be serious in this. There are some uh, specials that the specials, because they are specials, have a f- special name. So you probably were not visiting us or following us enough to come when the special comes to. Because we have the messy empanada, and that's coming kind of in October, November time, and that's a fantastic one. We call it messy for... Low blow. my idol. Yeah. Low blow. Lionel? No me rompa los huevos. Porque, <laughs> porque I didn't come to Maria Nombrada in October. Uh, you just opened one, uh, like, uh, literally half a block from my office. A ver, Victor, and Victor. Will... I know what's up. So, okay, okay continue. Okay, Colombia. Hey, listen, I, no, no, Kip. I want to interpret this one for you, but I think Lorena <laughs> should explain what no me rompas los <laughs> huevos means. Please tell me that you're no, disparaging yo no our puedo guests. Hacerlo, All right, no, she's, no, saying, no. she's saying she can't, and I, I should I'm put a professional don't break here. my balls. Yes. <laughs> oh, ball buster over here. Oh, look at that. No me rompa los huevos. Hey, I will bueno. tell you right now that... Sí. As a fan of both Daniel, Victor, and myself, I believe we should all have one named after us. So. Si, 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 si. Oh, my God. I have it clear since the, the first word. Yes. Um, I know. I, I'm there just doing that. I, I no me rompa los huevos. Me encantó. But at the same time, for someone that didn't understand the last seven minutes of fucking okay, conversation, okay, okay, okay. Pardon. I'm totally cool with having the ingredients listed off for me. Because like you said, it's a it's a pocket. Like you don't know yes, what's inside it. The yes, yes, is the only way yes. y'all know the difference. So while now, I'm, we I'm have... glad we got a good answer, I just don't know what the answer was because it was all in goddamn Spanish. Well, we don't need you anymore. Uh, okay, yeah, let's talk about it. I'm out. So we have the Bariloche also. That is another one that has another fantastic flavors. We have the Tango. We have the Argentina mm, that has tango. steaks. We have the... Um, Karina, oh my goodness, the Karina is fantastic, the Ophelia. Um, so there are a few specials that they come uh, through the year. The Sierra, and uh, can, can you repeat that one? Sierra? The Sierra. 
Muy bien. Sí, claro que sí. So ok, entonces out, yeah. tienen so you need to follow muy us. especiales. Yes, you need to follow us in Facebook and then you will see that uh, they the, will the be The answer I, listeners I is go you. all the time because there's very no, rare the limited it's edition it's release in Banadas, it sounds yeah. like. Let me very, tell you about a beautiful one that really, really gives you an idea of how much we love our customers. There used to be a, a, a couple. You want to tell them the story? No, no, you. you, you a couple you. Uh, in their 70s that sure. used to come to Maria Empanada. They found it because the lady had seen empanadas in our in our name, and she stopped, found out we're Argentinian, fell in love with us, and would come twice a week. All of a sudden, the husband shows up without her. It turns out Delia had died. And uh, and after that, the husband would show up with uh, some organic produce. We checked it out to make sure it was all legit and good. And he would gift it to us. And one day he shows up with a crate full of asparagus. We had no idea what to do with a crate full of asparagus. So Lorena and the kitchen manager, who's also a chef like Lorena, got to work. And they created this absolutely sumptuous uh, uh, asparagus, cheese, and garlic uh, uh, oh empanada. God, that that sounds like delicious. That and they and they called it they called it the Delia empanada. Yeah. So fun, that was fun fact about asparagus. I feel like every time Victor picks up the mic, everyone needs to just <laughs> turn their mic off, and myself included. I need to be better at this. Turn my mic off and just listen because. He could be telling me that they've been making fun of me for the last hour, and I wouldn't even know it, but I need to know it, so I need to start listening when Victor speaks. Jokes oh, on every, he, jokes on everybody here, because I speak fluent Spanish, so I've really? understood everything. Yeah. <laughs> jokes on y'all, I can't believe y'all <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> We're fucking educated Southerners here. And do, the pro, you think you will leave you? So, we think you will leave yeah. you? <laughs> so we have okay, one, one más, more una question. Más. Uh, it's Rusty's... Current affairs ver, Rusty. of the day. I think it's this one. Uh, current affairs. Oh, yeah. Dale, Rusty. Gracias por su respuesta. Uh, <laughs> Me encanta. Tengo uno más. Uh, yo soy un estudiante de lenguas de español en A particular. Ver. Y los listeners, la gente, tengo, tiene una cuestión. What is your favorite slang word? Uh, when I traveled throughout South America, I tried to pick up slang uh por ejemplo, Che, uh, what is your favorite <laughs> slang, either in Spanish or in English, that you've learned? <laughs> A colloquialism, we call them sometimes. One of the... Okay, you want to... Well, so for our listeners who aren't fluent in Spanish, unlike me, <laughs> what does that mean? What was your favorite slang word that you just mentioned there? Uh, mine was que pedo, <laughs> which is the Mexican way to say what's up, but literally translated means what fart. But along Mexicans, it means what's up, man. Um, I've learned from Argentinos, from Porteños. Chevon is kind of similar. What's chabon, up, chabon, chabon, chabon. chabon sí. And so our question to you is, what's your favorite slang, <laughs> slang phrase, English or Spanish, sí. that you've learned? Sí. Well, one of the, I think one of the, the slang that I say all the time and more when we are all together with the general managers. All my general managers are um, Latinos um, from different parts of the Latin America, from Chile, from, uh, well, I have one Spaniard. We accept him, yes. We did, right? Yeah. So the Spaniard, Mexican, Colombia, um, Chilean, Argentina, of course. And um, the one that we, I always say, hey, guys, we, no podemos ser tan boludos. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? You got to say that in English. So, no, no, so here, here is my translation. A ver, a ver, a ver, here is my translation, Victor. A ver. Does it mean fuck a goat? What does no, it mean? we can't no, be but... such fucking idiots. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, no. You can. Apparently, we all can. <laughs> we have proven otherwise today. <laughs> I resent that. So, boludo is basically one of the ones that always come through my mouth, and uh... I want to say, Lorena, although you sound like you would say such things as I just repeated, she's sí. a lady. 
Sí, of course. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. Never said those things. Yeah. And we're gentlemen never, too. Never, never, yeah. never, 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 never. We're scholars also. Never, 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 never. Oh, yeah. While we're here. Yeah, you never um, say bad words. I never say boludo. Yeah, and I exactly. love soccer. Yeah. I, you don't say bad yeah. words, and I love soccer. Exactly. So me. I, I love football. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Way to go, Tom Brady. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Singer. God damn. Is he a singer? Oh, He's a guy from Maroon 5. Oh, okay. oh, that's so fantastic. Everybody knows who Adam Levine is. Let's God, that was great. All right. I would say that we would end on that note, but we're not done yet. You really no. are almost out of the hot seat. So, I swear to God, that was definitely how we should end. I know.